Confess with me, please, our faith using the words of the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, God's only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven. He is seated at the right hand of the Father, and he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Called into unity with one another in the whole creation, let us pray for our shared world. God of companionship, encourage our relationship with our siblings in Christ. Bless our conversations, shape our shared future, and give us hearts eager to join in a festal shout of praise. Hear us, O God, your mercy is great. God of abundance, you make your creation thrive and grow to provide all that we need. Inspire us to care for our environment and be attuned to where the earth is crying out. Hear us, O God, your mercy is great. God of mercy, your grace is poured out for all. Inspire those in authority to act with compassion. Teach us to overcome fear with hope. Meet hate with love. Welcome one another as if we would welcome you. Hear us, O God, your mercy is great. God of care, accompany all who are in deepest need. Comfort those who are sick, lonely, or abandoned. Strengthen those who are in prison or awaiting trial. Renew the spirits of all who call upon you. Hear us, O God, your mercy is great. God of community, we give you thanks for the body of Christ in this place. Give us passion to embrace your mission, the vision to recognize where you are leading us. Teach us how to live more faithfully with each other. During these days of summer, we pray for recreation. We pray for travel. We pray for our time together with families. You give us safety. You would give us blessedness. You would give a restoration of souls. We are also mindful of good health. For those who strive for it, for those who seek it, for those who do not have it, but who long to. We pray for those who continue to recover from surgeries, those who are going through treatment, those who vigil with the dying, those for whom death draws near. We continue to give you thanks, O oh God, for essential workers. We pray for wisdom, to be wise about our health, to take care of ourselves. For those who work in research, for those who develop ways to keep us healthy. For all those who are worshiping with us, both near and across the miles, whether they are familiar to us, or perhaps this is their first time. Bless them. Bless us together as the body of Christ, wherever we might be. And we thank you that you move in us, that you rescue us, that you continue to love us and deliver us from exile. Hear us, O God, your mercy is great. God of love, you gather in your embrace all who have died. Keep us steadfast in our faith and renew our trust in your promise. Receive these prayers, O God, and those too deep for words. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Let us pray. Merciful Father, we offer with joy and thanksgiving what you have first given to us ourselves, our time, and our possessions, signs of your gracious love, receive them for the sake of him who offered himself for us, Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen.
We continue to give you thanks for your generosity, for your gifts, for your prayers, your love and your support, wherever you might be and however you might be supporting us. You have been so faithful and so generous. We continue to give you thanks for your gifts. Know that you can drop your offerings off at the church office. Call ahead. You can mail uh, gifts to the church or you can go online to our website, seemorefaith.org, uh, to the church website and you can donate online safely. But throughout all of this, you have been good to us and we are grateful and we are humbled. Know that your gifts continue to allow us to, to seek the vision of what God wants Emmanuel to do and how we will achieve that. And so there are wonderful things going on even while we are apart. So thank you for that. In the night in which he was betrayed, our Lord Jesus Christ took the bread. He broke it, gave thanks, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take and eat, this is my body given for you. Do this for the remembrance of me. And again after supper, he took the cup and gave thanks and gave it for all to drink, saying, This cup is the new covenant in my blood, shed for you and for all people for the forgiveness of sins. Do this for the remembrance of me. And we pray together, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Now may the body and blood of our Lord and Savior Jesus the Christ, which we have now received, strengthen and keep us in his grace, both now and forever. Amen. Again, just to highlight a couple of announcements as we, before we have our sending hymn. Again, reminder, next Sunday, July the 5th, outdoor worship, parking lot, 9 a.m., one service. Uh, there'll, be a, there'll be a team there. We, were going, we will minimize contact. We'll have the bulletin online ahead of time this week. You can print it off if you'd like. That would be the best Op, most optimal way to do that. Print that. Uh, we will have uh, we will have uh, everything that you'll need. You'll be able to drop your offerings off in a container. We will minimize contact. We want to keep you safe and healthy, but we want to offer the opportunity that we might be able to worship uh, together in a different way. But parking lot worship, July fifth, nine a.m., and we'll continue to unroll details as the week goes on. Our garden continues to grow. <clears throat> the blossoms are coming on. The plants. Uh, we have a uh, first sign of tomato. Bigger than a marble. A little less than the size of a ping pong ball. I've got pictures. I'll put it on our, our social media platforms. But with the garden, as you know, and with the rain we've been having, we're going to need to do a little bit of weeding. A rototiller would be best, and uh, we'll, we'll try to make provisions for that, but if any of you, I'll put the notice out this week, but if any of you have got uh, easy access to a rototiller and would like to bring it, we would certainly be thankful for that, but uh, be looking for that this week. But, uh, but our garden continues to grow, and we give thanks to God for that. And lastly, and this is something... This is something new that we're going to start. I'll start this next week when we're together. But I took uh, the picture directory. And uh, if you don't have yours yet and you ordered one, we have them in the office. Just call ahead to the office. You can stop by. You can pick them up. They're great. They're wonderful. 
if you didn't order one and you would like one, we do have a few extra copies. But so what I did was I took one and I, I specially made it into a form that I can use. I took my directory and then I put it in this form and, and I have it in a binder form. But starting next week, I'm going to pray the directory. So all the names in the directory, we're going to pray those together as a corporate body of Christ. And so if you know someone whose name did not get in the directory, maybe they just uh, weren't able to get there, or maybe they chose for whatever reason they didn't want. But if you know of a, of a name that's not in the directory and you get it to me, I would greatly accept that. And then we can start praying that. But so next week, we'll start uh, in, the, in the column of the A's and we're going to pray the directory as the body of Christ. And so other names that you want to get me, I would gladly accept. We have our we have our sending him. spending some time together today. We're glad that you're here. Come back again, won't you? Worship with us again. Just to note, even though we're going to have uh, outdoor parking lot worship next Sunday, July the 5th, there will still be an online worship that you could watch if you're not able to make it. If you're more comfortable watching it online, online will always still be available. So, Please adhere to um, the, the, the local common safety practices. If you don't feel well, it's okay. Online will still be there. If you're not comfortable being uh, together at a parking lot service, it's okay. Online will be there. 
if you're just more comfortable watching it, maybe it's too hot, maybe you've got asthma, or just not feeling well, it's okay. Online will be there. Thank you. Spending this time together. Be sure to tell somebody this week that Jesus loves them and invite someone to worship with you at the big church on the corner. Now may the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace in believing so that you may abound in hope by the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace to love and to serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. Have a good week, everyone. Bye-bye.